The variant of Form 7 lightsaber combat developed by Mace Windu called Vapad was a method of dueling that allowed Mace to pull from his own inner darkness, but use it for good. It was developed for the purpose of keeping Mace within the boundaries of the light, but also not ignoring his more aggressive emotions and overall enjoyment of a fight. When brought to its peak, Mace could not only use the dark side within himself, but within others, as a dark sider's own power would be turned against them. The form allowed Windu to perfectly combat dark side warriors, but also the raging emotions within himself. It allowed an outlet for them so that he would not be corrupted fully by them. By this description of Vapad, it sounds as if it would be the perfect candidate to be studied by the Jedi Knight, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin had proven himself a powerful Jedi, and a good one the majority of the time, but he still had a darkness within him that ruled his emotions when he became heated. Anakin, like Mace, too genuinely enjoyed combat and learning new fighting styles, pushing himself to become as powerful as possible, partially to live up to his status as the Chosen One, and partially to feed his own ego. But Vapad came with one key hang-up that made Mace Windu very weary of the potential of the form. Not only potential when it came to overwhelming an enemy, but the potential for it to corrupt a user fully. The danger of Vapad came because it required a user to embrace the dark side, but not let it alter their own souls. This made the practice extremely deadly. In order to use Vapad, a practitioner must open the door to the darkness and step through the threshold, but they must also anchor themselves to the light. If that anchor were to break or even sway, the user of the form could be lost forever. When originally developing the form, Windu believed it was difficult to master, but that it could be done. Windu, in fact, did not create the form alone. He did so with the aid of the Jedi Master, Sora Bulk. Windu, though, would truly grow weary of the form after Bulk turned to the dark side and became a servant of Count Dooku. Bulk then attempted to use Vapad whilst fully under the power of the dark side. When dueling Windu, he commented to him that he had now fully mastered the form and that the key missing component was a user's own darkness and allowing it to corrupt them. Windu, however, disagreed, stating Bulk had lost sight of the form entirely. But Bulk was not entirely misguided. The form was in fact very dangerous and was one of the few dark side related practices even allowed throughout the Jedi Order. Even then, Mace Windu had to personally select students for training and vet them beforehand. After Bulk's turn to the dark side, Mace trained one student in Vapad fully, his own apprentice, Deepa Balaba, and for a time, Windu believed he had found another worthy of the form. However, Deepa too momentarily turned to the dark side of the Force, with Mace Windu citing Vapad as a contributing factor. Although Mace was able to bring Deepa back to the light and the Jedi, he refused to take another student unless he was absolutely sure they could handle the form. Two main Jedi came to meet the task of learning Vapad following this, the first being Quinlan Voss, who implemented a Vapad sequence into a sparring session with Mace Windu in order to prove himself. Not impressed in the slightest, but rather angered, Windu swiftly defeated Voss and explained he was not to train in the form and that it was too dangerous. The other student that rose to the challenge of Vapad was Anakin Skywalker, who desired to push his skills to the limit, but again, Windu refused to train him. Windu saw Skywalker already dance too closely to the darkness, and that Vapad could be the thing that fully turned him. These comments only really served to anger Anakin, which really proved Windu's point, with Obi-Wan telling Anakin later he could still become a great Jedi without using Vapad. Ultimately, Windu was absolutely correct. The greatest muscle in use while using Vapad was the mind, and it required one stance in the Force to be set. Windu never desired to turn to the dark side, he just recognized darker emotions within himself and chose to master them rather than be a slave to them. In the end, he was able to push past his normal limits, not only tapping into his own darkness, but the darkness of his opponents during battle. That said, Vape had only reached its peak a single time. In Windu's duel with Darth Sidious, the Jedi Master came into conflict with a being so corrupted by the dark side that the form was fully achieved, as even doubt in the dark within an opponent could upset the form. Only against Sidious was Mace able to flawlessly execute Vapad, and it has been suggested against any other adversary the form could never reach the limits it did on that day. Ultimately, Mace was never really tempted by the dark side. Instead of seeking power, he sought to fix his own weaknesses. By doing that, he made Vapad. Perhaps that is the key that Anakin and so many others missed. Vapad was not a means of power, but a remedy to an existing flaw. Only by accepting and embracing that flaw could it even be reached, but still important to remember, it is indeed a flaw. I believe if Anakin were to attempt Vapad, it would have led him down the path to the dark side that he was already destined for. May saw all the warning signs within Anakin and thus refused to train him. Even with a more even-tempered Jedi like Deepa Balaba, the form took over, completely mastering the user, not the other way around. 
If Anakin had attempted it, he likely would have ended up like Sora Bulk, or how he did anyway, just much quicker. So that is the explanation as to why Mace Windu refused to teach Vapad to Anakin Skywalker. So tell me what you think. Do you think Anakin could have mastered Vapad, and do you disagree with me, and why? Also, I would like to hear characters that you think could potentially master Vapad besides Mace Windu. I'd love to hear some of your theories. If you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or tweet them at me, at StupendousWave. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it helps the channel out a great deal and I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to ensure you stay up to date with everything Star Wars related. Thanks again as always for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.